uh, I just want to make a video about uh, Tama Iron Cobra disassembly because I could not find one. Um, I have no idea how old this one is, so bear in mind yours may be different. You'll notice it's uh, disassembled currently. I don't feel like putting it back together because it took a while to figure out how to do this. So um, you'll just have to use your imagination a little bit. So normally the drive shaft here would be inserted through here like so and that piece falls off by design. Uh, this, um, the cam would be here, this cylinder would be right beside the cam, and resting on the cylinder would be the beater holder. Uh, but sometimes they break because, I don't know, cheap manufacturing, whatever. So, um, step one, remove your beater holder. You'll notice the screw is not there. It looks like this. It is a five millimeter hex screw. Loosen that up. Uh, well, you can't remove it yet. You just have to loosen it. Slide it over so you can get at the smaller hex screws on the cylinder. They are three millimeter hex screws. I would recommend not pulling them all the way out because they are tiny and you will probably lose it. Also, loosen the cam. Same thing, same size, probably don't lose it. Uh, finally, you should be able to... Oh, there's one more step. This was the fun step. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's two millimeters. Very small. Don't take it all the way out. You'll lose it. Um, this stuff on the end, the part that holds the spring, um, you shouldn't have to pull that off. I would leave it on because these bearings will fall off if you remove them and you don't want to lose those. So that's it. That's the little secret right there, that little guy. Um, once you have all of that stuff loose, you should be able to pull the drive shaft right out. That's it. Good luck. Have fun. Don't lose anything.